Let's go. Good luck, have fun, and uh, beat them, probably. He's got another base somewhere. I'm thinking he's got the base at the third. Attacking our cute little probes. How is that? Channel the light. I'm ready to teach. 
Trying to cheese me? We got him. What up, Leafy? How's it going? <laughs> All right, let's go. So what happened? So basically, Corona Boost, send my probes, and then um, make a forge or a gateway forge. And uh, in this case, I got the forge early so I can keep making more, a few more workers and then get the gate a little bit later. So because I was getting the gate a little bit later uh, to be a little more efficient on the probes, I had to get the forge a little earlier this time. But usually if I'm not as uh, probe efficient, then I'll go for uh, gateway forge. So that's the reason why I went forge gateway. I was trying to like pack in a few, two chrono boosts. One in the very beginning of the game, and the other one right then, right here, right after the uh, the the forge, um, so that I can start building up a couple more probes than um, I usually do, and that's because usually I I like to have a, a little bit of money here for the cannons, but because of how these maps are, a little harder to do that. So I figured I'll bank in a couple more workers, <clears throat> and then. As long as I have a hundred resources for a pylon at the high ground, that should be good. So, what happens is you don't see a hatchery here, right? There's no hatchery and there's no overlord. Those are the two two things that are missing in this picture. And where's the overlord? The overlord's over here. Where's the hatchery? There is no hatchery. So what is it? It's a pool first, right? So what we're gonna do? Is we're going to pull back, send the other worker over here because we know it's a pull first. So what we're going to do now is go over to the base and look like the normal probe because I know there's going to be a pull first. So I'm going to let the pro the links follow this probe. So now that he's going to follow, I'm going to be able to track them. And um, I'll be waiting right here for a for the uh, for the hatcher to come up now in that case instead of cannon rushing I just went right into a cannon defense um, and then started going into a transition or start starting to go into a transition um, so I blocked because there was a ling already in front I don't want I was gonna use this probe to block So he was going for a layer tech. He's gonna go for a nidus worm. It's the reason why I make a cannon all the time and then set and block it. It's because uh, nidus worms are a thing. And then you put a you cap it with the pylon. See that? You can't get in there that quick. And what I did is um, I saw that they killed this probe and uh, I was going to wait for this cannon rush. In the meantime, I was going to send this probe to go scout if it was a uh, third. You know, some people like to take the third first. So once I saw that probe die and the links in the links direction, I was like, okay. There's a chance I might be able to like sneak in there. Um, now in this case I did because his lanes moved out. And I said, okay, cool. Now he doesn't know I'm here because he thought he just checked it. He just checked it, killed the probe. This is the most safest area in the game right now. <laughs> the most safest because he just came from there. So those are little tricks that I'd like to do whenever the time comes. Uh, sometimes what I do, like if they're scout, you're following a worker. Hey, thank you so much, Leafy. When you're scout, when you're following a worker throughout the map, and you're gonna take an expo, the best place to take an expo is where the worker just finished scouting, 
with you, you know, because you're following it, and then they're not going to check it again because they just scouted it. So then you get your other worker and just make the nexus right there. You're like, hey, hey. But yeah. But same thing here. They killed this. If you get back there, this is not going to be scouted again for a while. But he did go for a Nidus Worm. This was quite the fast Nidus Worm because of Lings. Lings are, the Ling play is a little faster on the Nidus Worm. You're not spending more gas on the roaches and such. So that cannon is going to keep us safe. And we get the pocket right here to keep us more safe. He comes over here to try to deny a Nexus. There's no Nexus. That's why I always go Stargate before Nexus. Because, you know, it's vulnerable. Vulnerable uh, building. Alright, he's going to do the whole position. You want to get out of that whole position. That's why the pocket works really well. Okay, then I saw him going in here. So you know he's going to go over there and try to deny this because the harass he thinks it's just a zealot right now we build a gateway here to create the surface block we were gonna create a pylon right here to create a surface block and to trap the links in but I canceled make a battery shield And then the void ray came in to finish the job. Say, what I miss? <laughs> and then we have a new zealot from the gateway to finish off the hatchery if we couldn't. Or just to harass them a little bit longer while the void raid comes. GG.